Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to more Black Desert. So yesterday, enhancing was beyond tilting. Um, I now have about 400 stacks, so this one's really close. But yeah, like, I'm trying to go for a tet tree and then I don't get the tet tree, but I make 400 stacks. One, two, well, this one's, let's just count it, whatever. It's 9,900, same thing. And then a 110. I tilted yesterday and blew up my Kudum. It was at Tet, but Jesus, dude. I've never had such bad luck enhancing before. And, uh, yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I guess I got stacks for days. Um, I don't know what I'll use it on. But what we're going to be doing today is... Um, doing the new Madaya quest line. Uh, so, they recently added this with like the last patch or two, and I figured, hey, why not do these? Um, so, I was looking over the, some of the rewards. They aren't particularly great. I don't really know anyone that uses these green stones, but you know, whatever. Why not just do it? New story. Let's go. Um, where do we start? Uh, let me see. What is this one? Let's just do it in order. So, Madaya 1, 51. So, that's not Madaya, that's Calpheon. Alright. Anyway, it's another, like, 100 quest or something to do on my total journal of whatever goal to 4,000. 5,000, whatever. Hold on. For all of you who have an Xbox or Xbox One, it doesn't really matter which one it is, does it randomly turn on by itself? Because mine does, and that's kind of weird. It just started happening recently. Every day it would turn on at least once by itself don't really know why but yeah yesterday's enhancing video you guys had watched that was not great it was actually beyond tilting to the point where I'm just like I don't want to enhance anymore but I also have four 100 stacks that I don't know what to do with and I kind of want to pop them and Eventually, we'll get something out of that. I wish you could sell fail stacks. Wouldn't that be nice? I would actually trade all my 100 and 110 stack for, like, two Tet Tungrad earrings. Well, I'd actually even trade it for one. But, uh, anyway. I don't know. Maybe one day RNG will be, like good. Oh, dang. Someone got a Tet Tungrad earring. Or, not earring. Tet Tungrad ring. The new... What are you doing, horse? Dream horse when? Now that I think of it, my RNG's been pretty bad for the past, like, six months. Maybe one day I'll one tap an accessory. Alright, stable keeper. I'll say the next time I enhance, I'll probably um, be doing it after I collect more hards and sharps because I'm low on everything. I have like one hard, zero mem frags. I got 40 sharps, but I might just use down Black Star. Ooh, nice. A rank one icon. 
worth it. Okay, well... Calfee on Parliament. This dude still needs knowledge. 700. This thing gives you a plus 13. Grunnel helmet. I mean, how much does that really sell for? Oh my god, look at how many there are just because this of this quest. Look at that drop. So instead of selling it at 13, you just go to click it to 14 and then sell it. What are these people doing? Yeah, you can, just so many, you can repair it. Just click it to 14, make some fail stacks, easy. Search for the Kamasil of Temple on the east. I went all the way to Calpheon for this, by the way. Now we have to go all the way to Medaya. After I go to the temple, if it tells me to come back here, I might actually just. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're actually pushing our way to 62 with all of the 530% scrolls they've been giving. I've been doing like an hour or two grind a day and getting a few percentage, so that's pretty nice. Oh my god, like. So hopefully we can get to 62. Um, here's the goal. Once I hit 62, we get the Kaposha. One second, dude, I'm lagging. So our goal is to get the Kaposha and then use the Tritongrad, smash it on one of our stupid 100 stacks. I don't know, like when it comes to a Tet Tongrad, I might actually use the 110 stack because, like, sure, this may be a pen stack, but, well, all of them are pen stacks. But I'd feel worse if a Tet Tungra, or a Tri Tungra blew up, because that's three bill. So I might use the 110 stack. And then, if we get that, uh, we'll be at 284 AP. And then we're still working on our next Tet Crescent or equivalent. Then we'll be at 287. We just gotta go click the next one. Here's how, here's the best case situation. Both of these go up to Tet. I get a Tet Crescent, I'll be at 289 AP. Um, after that, I might go for a level 5 Capris in my dandy. And I think that's about like the rebuild. So... I don't know. Like I could also do it by trying to go for a Tet Tungrad Ring instead of the Crescent. That would also push me above 290. Or 290 exactly. And um, that's a good spot to be. Though right now what I should really be going for is DP because right now in PvP in like 1v1 situations, like whoever gets CC first is the one who dies. Like, that's basically the meta right now at high AP. Unless you're a mystic, then you just don't die, so. So we're slowly making our way. I have 3.4 bill right now. I'm like, I'm more than the halfway point to just buying a Tech Crescent, but I also want to like 
should I play it safe and buy it, or should I enhance it myself? That's the question. But I think ultimately, I might just buy it because with my RNG lately, it's just like I'm just gonna lose all that money. But yeah, lately I've just been grinding. Um, so now actually with this uh, <laughs> duo kudum, I might have to get that back to Tet and I might pop a 90 stack for it, which is kind of scary. But uh, gotta do it to grind. Like I probably could do just fine grinding with my Nuver, but kudum is straight up better. Plus, I would like to be 269 with Kudum at some point. So that's just uh, one more Tet accessory and Tet Kudum. What's that guy doing? He's flagged. Knowledge. Uh, go to Omar Lava Cave. What is this quest, actually? You get knowledge on an incident in Omar Lava Cave. Oh. Slay ferrets inside the cave.
I actually grinded this place back in the day, years ago. Was it really good? Not really. What are these? Oh. Can't believe those actually show up as like a rare drop or something. Okay, we got the quest done, bruh. Examine the status of the materials in the cave. Speak with the villagers in the cave. Pour water on erupting lava. Got our plus 13 helm, though. That's all that matters. We're going to use it for fail stacking. Pour water on erupting lava. That just does not seem like a smart idea in general. So where do I turn this? Oh. Oh, I got a forbidden book for Slay the Boss. Hell yeah, let's go. So this is what the new player experience is like, huh? If you were to do this. Well, actually, so the Badaya quest has been around for a while. But last week they did like a renewal or like a re remastered more or less quest line for Medaya. Um, so you can watch the old one. And I have videos of that from like 2017 or whatever. Oh, that's intense. There is a lot of backtracking. Nice, a forbidden book, green garbage stones, and XP. Hmm. 
Nerudishin is Altanova. Okay, so both of these lead me to Altanova. Your spectrum of knowledge is growing. Getting quests done, though. It's pretty good. Out of curiosity, though, how much would you guys value a 100 stack if you could sell it? I think I would value it between about 2 to 3 bill for a 100 stack. both lead to the same spot probably I remember when I first found Altanova like discovered the city I was so excited it looked cool now it's just like I don't want to be here Let's do the main story thing. Both of these are main story? Whoa, what is that? I saw 300 or something. 300 Amity? Oh. That's cool. <laughs> Talk to Naruda Shen. I forgot who that was. Oh my, it's telling me to go pretty far away. I got 300 Amity with this dude. Oh. <laughs> I 
That's cool. I feel like the first time I've been here, I just kind of missed a lot of things. Valencia and Madaya knowledge. Apparently, there's three different ones. Why do the NPCs have to be so far away? Talk to Tulum, a villager. Okay. Man, after like 300 CP, <laughs> you, you, the bar does not move. Donut. Talk, Lu talk to Lucy. Who are you? Uh, find a child who knows about the suspicious song. That's kind of weird, game. got our sesame bagels donuts what does that even do uh gain health xp okay <laughs> Dude, every time i'm recording people are like hey let's message john on discord let's text him my mom sent me a picture of food. All right. <laughs> I 
Eavesdrop on the Song of the Barbarians. Why, though? Interpret the language. Some dude just hit a tet tree. I'm like zero for th zero and thirty one for tet tree attempts. Find a prophet, Sirari. Dude, why do the NPCs have to be on like every edge of the map? You know what's funny is most of these quests aren't even counting for our um, journal log total. Some are, but some like most of them aren't. Can I just talk to you from if I look up? Oh my potato! How many more quests left? Oh, I only have eight quests left. All right, let's just go do them. Today's Saturday. So for the event, um, you know how there's going to be like, they give you money for participating in Node Wars and Sieges. Apparently I'm going to be sieging for the first time tonight. We're not going to win, but we're just doing it for the event. So I probably show up to siege tonight. Okay. Seven more quests. What do we get? We just get... Yikes, these aren't even good rewards. Stamina up. Let's look at our bar. Stamina.
talk to the villager. Which one? Knowledge of natural disasters. Four quests left. They're actually going by pretty quickly. Okay, we just went into an enemy zone. Beat monsters at the abandoned iron mine. Click. Easy clap. Whoa, there's so many quests. What the hell is this? Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever seen this. Can I see the rewards first? No! Wait, hold on, I want to see the rewards. Give you one black stone. Should be able to do this easy. Peekaboo. That was really easy. It's probably the easiest four black stones ever. All right, so let's do this last quest for this area and then we'll do those in another video. So, 
Let's go back to Altanova. Dude is out like so far away. Talk to the mercenaries. I just hate how I have to like go back and forth with all these twisting paths. If it was just like a straight line, I'd be like, you know what, fine, I don't care. But it's like, I gotta turn all these corners. Salt Nova's built like a potato. Thank God for auto paths because I had no idea where I was going. Go back to. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I'd like to assume we're almost done here. I'm doing stuff that you could literally do by yourself, but that's fine. Who QA'd this, by the way? Who thought this was okay? <laughs> Take me there. I don't know who the, half of these people are. Talk to the Mogul Shikatu who is in Altanova.
Wait, Shikatu is here? Why? How many of these stones did we get? 21? Yikes. I don't even think I'll ever use them. <laughs> Alright, well, we're getting into the next quest line. I So, I'm going to stop here just because we had to leave the town. Everything was pretty fairly close by. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.